Hi everyone, welcome to your presentation for our CHI 2023 paper, Characteristic of Deep and Skimming Reading on Smartphone versus Desktop, a Comparative Study. My name is Sugar Chen and I'm from the University of Melbourne. This is a joint work between me, Namra uh, Namrata, Rajiv, Jennifer and Tillman from the University of Melbourne, Monash University and Adobe Research. Since thousands of years ago, um, as the invention of words and letters, human has developed the ability to read. Reading and writing helps people to better communicate in, uh, information. And as the, the modern technology emerges, people change the way they read. Um, from reading on a stone to read on a paper book. And with the, the help of the internet, we kind of start reading on personal computers and then nowadays are on mobiles. Digital platform have greatly enhanced people's ability to skim reading, um, where people just quickly go over the text and extract mostly surface or literal information. As a result, we are now processing far more information from day to day. However, there are some ongoing discussion on whether people are still as good as deep reading Nowadays, um, in deep reading, readers will not just only process literal information, they will also go deep into the text, trying to reconcile with the authors and try to understand inclusive information that hasn't been made available uh, on the text. Um, digital platform might, help, might have helped people to read faster, but um, it may also prevent people from reading deeper to help better understand modern technologies' uh, impact on people's reading behavior, we basically must be able to determine if a person is reading deeply or is just skimming. Um, traditionally, we can tell this by doing a comprehension test where readers need to answer a set of questions after finishing reading. Um, broadly speaking, those questions can be categorized into three different categories, infra uh, literal, inferential, and evaluative. Literal question measures the ability to recall explicit information made available in the test text. Bounce can be used to indicate the presence of skim reading, while inferential and evaluative question care more about explicit information that requires deeper inferences, inferences and analysis, which can be used to um, can measure the deep reading. Comprehension test, of course, is very useful, um, but a certain situation it can be limited due to various reasons, such as we might we need to come up with different questions for every reading material. We cannot determine the reading behavior on the fly. A post reading test is required, and so on and so forth. Therefore, um, in this study, we explore alternative a generic method to measure deep versus skim reading more effectively, which can be easily also easily adapt to many other texts. To begin with, we ask how could we successfully induce people's different reading behavior, especially under the lab environment, and then we explore further whether we could tell people's reading behavior from their eye movement data. Um, what does the my eye movement look like? Um, is there any differences between scheme and deep reading? And could we use such differences to train an automated classifier? So firstly, to introduce induce people's deep versus scheme reading behavior, we introduce two different tasks with the exact same taxes and displaces. All, all taxes have 20 convention questions in total, with each question type has roughly equal number of num uh, equal amount of numbers. In deep reading test, participants were told to spend as much time as they want to read the text carefully in detail, and they were also told they would need to answer all 20 comprehension questions after the reading. The higher they can score, the better. They do not know the questions in the rounds. Where in skim reading, however, participants were presented three literal questions before reading, and their goal is to spend as less time as they could to find answers to those three preview questions. There's two minute max reading limit, time reading limit. Um, and even though they still need to answer the rest of the 17 questions after reading, their score will only be calculated on the three preview questions. 
Here are just some example about our experimental setup. We recruit 29 participants in total. All of them are native speakers. Um, looking at the comprehension result and reading speed, we can show that we have successfully in induced uh, skim versus deep reading. Participants generally have better comprehension read a uh, result uh, and read much slower in deep reading. Um, there's no significant um, difference between desktop and mobile. Looking at comprehension result by question type, uh, we further com confirm our observation above uh, where participants were able to obtain roughly the same score on preview literal question, but deep reading has significantly um, better inferential result than scheme reading. It is interesting that we don't see such a huge difference in evaluative questions. Uh, we, suspect, we suspect this might be caused by participants still be able to obtain high level understanding about the article from scheming, and they still have the ability to answer a question like, what's the main problem of this story? Um, and then next we pull the eye movement graph and gaze heat map for each reading con condition. It is quite obvious that readers show different reading patterns in deep versus scheme reading in deep reading. The eye movement can be a lot denser, with uh, are more short circuits and longer fixations. Uh, we use red line here to indicate regressions, and you can see this uh, deep reading has more way more regressions. In scheme reading, the pattern is much sparser with fewer circuits and fixations. And then with the evidence from the eye movement data, the next step for us is to see if we can extract if, if meaningful features from it, which we could use to better classify deep and skimming reading. Here are the list of features we use. We partition time series eye movement data into windows and extract those features per window. Uh, for simplicity, I won't go through all of them in detail. Please refer to our paper for more details. With all these useful features, we explore several classic um, classification algorithms. Among them, tree-based algorithms normally have the best performance, and we're able to achieve almost like 90% accuracy in desktop and 86% accuracy in mobile. We did not explore more modernized algorithms like neural network here because we want better interpretability and also visibility over the decision made during the classification. Uh, and this is more like an exploratory study rather than optimization study. Looking at misclassified instance, we found misclassification is only partial due to model deficiency, um, partially due to model deficiency. There are instances where people read more like deeply in skin reading tasks, potentially due to finding the error of inches. Uh, also, there are cases where people read more like skim reading in deep reading tasks, especially when they try to reread the entire article. Lastly, we explore major features that help the classification process. We found circuit features are particularly useful, especially uh, features related to reading patterns such as left circuits and left up or left, uh, sorry, up left or up right circuits. Fixation also plays an important role here, but not as important as cat features. Uh, finally, conclude we are the first study to perform a detailed investigation between deep and skim reading on both desktop and mobile. Um, in this study, we introduced a study design that could successfully introduce induce people's different behavior. Um, and we showed that those two reading modes could be effectively identified with classifier trained on the features we, we derive from eye movement data. We also discussed key characteristics characteristic of deep and skim reading through the analysis of the most important features. Our findings here can be useful for future studies um, on reading behavior or on various technology or designs impact on people's ability to read. Lastly, thank you very much for watching this presentation. Please don't be hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. See ya.